Hey everyone, Scotty Norris here again, talking about ABX and uh, extensibility in the uh, 101 video series that I'm currently doing. I'm on a bit of a marathon net at the moment, I've had some spare time, so I'm just trying to smash out some of these videos, and hopefully some of them are useful, uh, allow you to take some stuff away and then, you know, further improve your organisation or environment or even your own learnings, all right? Uh, today I just wanted to have a something a little bit different. We've talked about you know executing uh, the extensibility, being able to reach out from VRA to other products um, or services as part of a, a resource provisioning. But what about if we want to reach out from a third party into VRA to execute? Well, you can do that, and this is something that I think could be really really cool. Is in the fact that you can have essentially your uh, action-based extensibility within VRA being a script repository. Because it can automatically sync to GitHub as well, meaning that, or GitLab, whatever your Git integration is, um, means that it automatically syncs up all your scripts from there, um, from, from an ABX point of view. Uh, and then you can actually call those scripts and execute those scripts via API. So you can start having, okay, well, we've got a central script repository here. Uh, this will actually run against AWS Lambda, Azure Functions, OpenFAS on-prem. And that way, when, you're, when you've got your, you know, you don't need to then specifically write to all these different endpoints. You can just have a single source repository where you can then choose where you want to run it, right? Um, without having to change or do anything special. So in this one, if we look at, uh, if you didn't know it existed, we got the forward slash automation UI, forward slash API docs. So this is all the APIs, um, which is in a, uh, it's a Swagger um, format. All the APIs are in here and we can see the ABX one. So if I go to ABX, uh, we can have a look at, you know, all the different stuff, but I want to particularly target actions here. And you can see that we can actually uh, execute uh, an action. So actually, action runs, not actions. I'll close that. We can see here that we can actually trigger an action to run. Awesome. Right, so we got the payload. So really all you need for the payload, unless you want to go changing other things, um, is your inputs and the project ID. Right. So what I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I've actually kicked off uh, a build. So if I have a look here, hopefully it's done. Yes, it's done. So this is, I'll cover this in another, actually probably the next, or maybe the next, next uh, video, where this is a full blown application and I'm actually calling out to actions for both the networking, uh, extensibility for both the networking and um, uh, virtual machines. And it provisions a full end-to-end -end microservices application, right? This is something I wrote up just purely for my own learnings, but also uh, I used it for a lot of vForum demos, etc. But if we have a look at this load balancer, and this is a AWS load balancer, so this is um, this app is completely agnostic, can go into any cloud, uh, but I specifically used AWS here. If we just go to this one, want to see that it works? All right, cool. I'll just make sure all the services are up and running, uh, and that's working. Awesome. So that's up and running. So if we go, okay, well, let's have a look. I want to, I want this linked up with my DNS, right? So um, say this was deployed, I'll go, obviously I can, you know, Route 53 is a native integration to uh, VRA, but just for example, I've got an app and I want to make a change, the DNS level from after doing some, you know, application updates or whatever it might be. Uh, I've got, it's called weather, um, dot demo lab. Uh, demo. Well, you. So we'll have a look there. So it's not working at the moment. Okay. So what I've got here, and I'm going to do it through uh, the REST client here, just so that um, you can see what we've got. So if I wanted to actually have a look at all my actions, and this is where you get your action ID from. So obviously you've got to have your bearer token uh, from log logging in, and I can cover that in another another series. But I'll send that. Okay, cool. I get a response and I get this back and these are all my actions. So if I have a preview here, um, we can see, you know, I've got up the top, update Route 53 alias. Um, it's got the script that's in there. Uh, it's got the the basic or the, the in-place default values that are in the inputs. Um, we, you know, it tells you all the different information about it, uh, but at the end here it's got the ID, right? So that's the ID and we can see that all these actions here, even ones that we've used uh, in other videos, the hello world, 
uh, they've all got their IDs. So this is the ID that you want. So for me, I want to do the Route 53 alias, which is specifically um, this ID here. Uh, so copy that out. And what I'm going to do is then go to, I've already got this in place. So then we want to do a post or an execute, right? And I've already got the ID in here, but that's where the ID goes. Uh, very similar to the Swagger UI here. You see it's got the ID. Oh, when I put that uh, action runs. You can see that it's got ID there. Uh, that's what we want to use. So we have ID and then we have action runs. Now, part of this is if I just did a get on that, so let's just do a get. It's actually going to give me all the action runs that have been triggered by that particular um, uh, as part of that action, essentially. So it gives me all the runs that it's ever done, uh, and but that's not what I want. I want, actually want to execute that. So we want to post to the same URL, action runs, and this is all I need to put in. So I'm putting in my project ID, uh, which is, again, the, the ID for my project Z, um, and then the inputs that's required for this particular thing. Now I've got my name is uh, uh, weather.demolab, uh, my region, my zone ID, and I need this, so the DNS name. So I need to get, okay, this DNS name here, I want to put that in there. All right, so we'll cut that, it's our 167, so we can see that's different there, we'll paste that in there. Oh, we don't need the HTTP, anything awesome, and everything else is defaults. So I'm gonna I'm gonna submit this, send, and we can see it's been triggered. We get a payload from that. If we quickly go and look at action runs, uh, if we beat it in time, eleven twenty three. Well, that was it. So we didn't quite uh, beat it, but we can see there it started via API. Right, so we've had when we do a test run, it started by test. If it started by event, it started by event. This one started by API. Now, if we have a look in here, uh, we can see there's our um, 167. Uh, we can have a log here, and it just says it's, it's finished because I'm not logging anything out. Um, but we can see everything else in there is what we put in there. Um, the times match up. So now we go and have a look and see if this works. Go back here, refresh that. Hey, now it's working. Yeah. So this um, should work, yep, awesome. Uh, and that's it, so nice and simple, something a bit different. And I use this a lot as part of pipelines. So for instance, if I've got a script or I've got something that I wanna run as a function, I just call an ABX via the, the out of the box rest capability that's there. Uh, and I'm really just calling v, you know VRA on itself again, uh, especially when I'm using CodeStream. But you can think this can be this can be triggered from anywhere, right? Uh, any bit of automation. Uh, and it can do anything. It doesn't have to be VRA related at all, like what I just did. I just ran a update for a Route 53 record, right? Um, using and I'll show you the action. It's um, it's not that special. Here it is. Uh, so you can see I'm using the Botto 3, um, and essentially I just followed the the, the SDK the, um, the to update a uh, Route 53 uh, as part of the Botto 3. I just followed the syntax, you know, nothing special, uh, and it works. So anyway, that's a nice and sweet, uh, quick, nice, sweet, nice, quick video uh, to get the morning started. But hopefully that's interests some people, um, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Say bye.